Hey, it's Jared. I wanted to go through how I'm utilizing Notion uh, a bit into 2021. I started out the year with a new video on how I'm using Notion moving forward, but some things have changed. I've added some things to my life and just kind of maneuvered some things around. And a few things have changed with how I'm utilizing Notion. It's also gotten to be even more important because I have some clients that I work with on a retainer and I need to be better at my time tracking. And so utilizing Notion for organizing my life, my professional life, my business, all the way down to tracking my time when I'm working on projects has become even more important than ever before. So I'm going to show you how that looks and I'm also wanting to announce that I'm going to start moving and putting new Notion content over on a different YouTube channel. I never really wanted uh, all of this Notion content or a specific topic to be on just my personal name as far as a YouTube channel goes. YouTube and search engines in general do this fun thing where once you start to produce content or talk about a certain thing, they kind of lock you into that. And I didn't necessarily want that to be my main channel here. So uh, in the description below, you'll see a link to a new channel and you'll want to definitely check that out. A card may have popped up above as well. I do want to start creating more content over there, not just on the topic of Notion, but also on other productivity topics, and then also some business topics, maybe even uh, talk about some of the other things that, um, that I do uh, that are uh, along the side of my business, but also in the productivity space, maybe some crossover there. I don't know, I'm kind of spitballing out loud right now, but let's jump back in and look at Notion. So earlier this year, I talked about the fact that I kind of separated my uh, personal life and business life into two different dashboards so that I can quickly and easily access all of that information. I've kind of further gone down that road of uh, having a, a line of separation between the two because I do live in one space throughout the day as most of us do with work or whatever it is that we're pouring our time into. And so I felt that it was important for me to be able to be in one without seeing the other because you know I have projects and different things I'm working on personally and if I'm having to look at those while I see everything that I need to do for work it can kind of be a distraction I know for me uh, if I'm if I'm struggling to get through a task because it's either challenging or I can't figure out the answer, that puts me uh, more susceptible to procrastination and I end up going down some other road and I just need to make sure that I protect myself and my productivity by having clear lines in the sand when I'm working on things. So you can see here I have kind of this uh, uh, contents, table of contents essentially, or just quick links over on the left hand side between different pages and different databases uh, that I have. And then I have some linked databases over on the right hand side so I can see that information quickly. For example, my inbox where I throw new thoughts or ideas and then hopefully uh, reorganize them later. Uh, a prayer section, my projects that I'm currently working on, and then an easy way for me to enter in new transactions or see transactions because I do track my finances in Notion. And then if I jump over to uh, Hill Media Group, which is the HMGOS, I have a couple of databases here. I have tasks, I have open projects, interactions, and recent transactions that had to do with my work. So those are uh, kind of the two areas that I jump into most of the time. I still have my content calendar, but I also set up the content calendar in a way that I can see the different things that we're working on, uh, upcoming, my filming schedule, latest releases, and then get access to things like sponsorship information, quick links to my YouTube channel so that I can go to the YouTube channel uh, studio and manage those channels easily. So this uh, doesn't have much information in there now because this week was kind of a, a slow week as far as putting out content. This is set to show just what's being worked on this week. And also, since I am now using Notion in a Teams format, I, I am also kind of building out some workspaces as well that we're going to look at in a second here. Uh, 
So my notebook, I did go and change. I think I did talk about this a little earlier. I used to have all of these different Notion notebook databases, and I did it that way because I was afraid that if I had everything in this one giant database, it was gonna be impossible for me to export my data and take it into something else if I decided to move away from Notion. And this year's been kind of a tough year being a Notion user with the amount of times that Notion's gone down and people have lost data and all that stuff. Thankfully, I haven't had many issues with uh, Notion going down and losing whatever data I was working on at the time, but it's a real situation. So I went ahead and did go back to a master database and moved everything back into one giant database that's sortable by the, the particular notebook here. So I have all my notebooks set as a selection and then I have a, a lot of other things going on over here. And the reason that I did it this way and went back to the single database is because it really got challenging to get things into a database. I had to remember the name of the database for the notebook. Um, and sometimes that took some searching, especially if I was on a smartphone where I have a little bit smaller of a screen. And so I decided instead to create these pages and then link in a database. So for example, under this reference tab here, this is a linked database that is filtered to show just the reference uh, items that are, are, are selected as reference. And so that is the way that I decided to do it. Took a little bit of time to build out all of these pages, but it, it, was, it was pretty simple and I like the way that it's set up now. I have my inbox here, I have all the notebooks, I have a couple of different databases where I did decide to separate them. For example, when I'm reading a book, I want to be able to come in here and add in uh, notes and stuff that had to do with a book. I wanted to be able to tag that book even if I'm in a, another note, maybe um, in, in an ideas and I'm remembering a quote or I just want to list a quote, I want to be able to link to that book. So for example, um, if I go back to uh, one of these, you can see here that it is linked to a podcast and it's linked to an author. I just so happened to pick something that I ended up using in one of my podcasts. Um, uh, and so you can see here that I'm linking to authors. I'm linking to a source, whether it's a podcast or a book. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I could build out an easy way to see attribution to things. And attribution is important to me because if I'm quoting something, I want to make sure to give proper attribution. If I am utilizing something uh, for a new idea and there is, and that idea came from something else, like maybe I came up with this idea because of something I heard in a book or something I heard in a podcast, I want to make sure that I have an easy way to link back to that attribution and remember where that idea came from and then also be able to provide proof of where that idea came from should I end up using it in something like a course or a video or a blog post or something like that. So I can come in here and view all the podcasts that I listen to, which I, I really need to update this. That's gotten kind of behind. I can view the books that I'm reading which I or have read, which uh, has definitely uh, needs to be updated because I've been listening to a lot more audiobooks lately and then an author's section as well. And what's cool about this author section is whether they're a podcaster or a book author or something like that, I'll be able to see any notes and quotes. Uh, if it's a podcast, I can see the podcast here. Maybe even somebody has appeared on another podcast, and so I can tag that podcast here. And then if that person has both a podcast and a book, it's easy for me to see that here. And I, I may even add in another uh, section and I may get to the point where I need to combine podcasts and books and maybe YouTube channels and any other uh, medium, I guess you can say, into one database. That may be where I go next rather than having them all in separate databases. So this notebook section, having one master database now, I'm feeling a, a bit better because I've, I know that I can export all of my data uh, as far as the information that is in the database uh, into a spreadsheet and I could sort it and whatnot and then try and figure out how to link up the pages to where they belong. But 
I don't know, I'm starting to just be in the mentality of I'm going to go as far as I can with Notion and hopefully Notion just continues to get better and better as it has. Uh, but if there becomes major issues, you know what, I will just start over new in the next platform rather than bringing over a, a mess with me if that's the way that it ends up being trying to get data out of Notion into something else. So I still have my garage where I just kind of throw things and where I'll build out new ideas and stuff. I'll start in the garage just kind of tinkering, just like you would in a garage. And then if it's something that I end up using, whether it be for a video like this or for my own organization in Notion, I'll move it out of the garage into a section where it makes, makes the most sense. And then I have a public pages section here that has different pages that, that are publicly facing such as uh, my now page that kind of explains what I'm doing, what I'm working on, and all that good stuff, what book I'm currently reading. Uh, I think you can get to that if you go to jaredhill.com slash now. I may have moved, I think I did move that back over to my website, but I still like having this now page in Notion, and I do link to it in different places. Also, the page that many of you have visited, which is my Notion templates and courses page, that has access to all of my different Notion templates is in my public pages section. I also was messing around with uh, the, there's a way to take a website address like jaredhill.com and actually map it to Notion and make your Notion pages a website. I was playing around with that for a little while, but it really, it really had too many issues for me. Um, for example, uh, I, I did figure out a way to make a contact form in Notion, which was kind of cool. It's embedding another tool, and I put this, uh, this video player in here, and people can interact with it, and it was kind of cool. So if you go and view this page in a web browser, so for example, if I pull up a web browser and paste this in, I think I might be logged in. I'm not logged into Notion here. They would view this and they'd get a video from me and you can re reply with a video or with audio or via text. Here's my email address, my website and all that stuff. So it, it was kind of a cool way to have a contact page. Um, I also had built out a few other pages and made those public, but it was just too challenging. The navigation was challenging. It was much easier for me being a web designer and having lots of experience with WordPress to just leave it in WordPress and go into WordPress. The problem I was trying to solve was having to go multiple places to update things. I thought, you know what, I'm in Notion all day long. If I can update my website from Notion, that would be awesome. But there's still limitations and things that I, I just you know couldn't deal with. I've been trying to work on some more of my challenges. I don't know if you've seen my personal challenge list. Um, it shows all the different things that I'm trying to work on in life and the status of them and all of that. It's been harder to work on those things, being that uh, a lot of those challenges are uh, personal challenges that take time away from working on uh, working in my business and also with my family. So it slowed those things down quite a bit, but those are still things that are important to me. So public pages. Let's talk about my workspace, which is something that I am working on building out. And it has a very similar look to a lot of the other dashboards. We've got a content calendar here. We've got a resource, just one so far here, which launches the YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be filling in some additional resources to make it easy to get to logo and assets that we would need when working on a video, um, also just any like uh, sponsor information, scripts, or like anything that I would work on and use with a video, having it all there so that it's easy for us to access because these four workspace areas, it's just not me that's accessing those, my employee is accessing those as well. And so we need to be able to share, and you can even see up here, it shows uh, that both of us have access to those. and. Uh, same goes with Hill Media Group, where my projects are, different web projects and stuff that we're working on. Um, Learn with Jared, which is, uh, you know, this new channel that I'm working on, as well as my website, where I have lots of courses that I've been working on, and we're refilming so many of them. And so the process uh, of, of keeping tabs on all of that is, is important. And then also State of Tech, uh, my technology YouTube channel. 
staying uh, on top of where things are at there. A lot of this looks the same and I think it's important that they do look the same because if every section that you go into in Notion looks different, you, it, it's hard to gain that muscle memory where everything is kind of simple and you can get into Notion, you can find what you're looking for, you can add what you need to add, remove what you need to remove, and then move on with your day. I see a lot of these Notion builds that are so complicated, I don't know how anybody gets anything done with them. And while I think it's really cool to see some of those complicated builds. For me, I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. I'm trying to simplify things so that I could be more productive and get more work done. So I wanted to show you uh, what Notion looks like for me now because it is an ever-evolving process. It's, it's never stagnant. Whenever I find something works better, I try to build upon that. And then if it ends up being a better process, I try to work on updating and changing out everything else that I'm doing so that I could be more productive and log things more. So the first video that you're gonna see over on the new channel that you should definitely go and check out is a, a complete CRM build out. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I utilize Notion for time tracking, keeping track of how much I should bill a client based on the amount of work, uh, how I can go and even just see any information about that client, such as projects I'm working on for them, completed tasks, any conversations I've had with them and all of that stuff. So I thought, you know what, let's kick off this new channel with a huge video on building out a complete client CRM from scratch. So we're gonna do that. And so if you're looking forward to something like that, definitely head on over. But you should subscribe to that channel anyways because I'm gonna be producing a lot more content over there that I think is gonna be super useful for all of you. And it's super fun for me to put that stuff out. So make sure to head on over there and click that subscribe button and give whatever videos are there a watch until I get some new stuff uploaded. But that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much. Make sure to check out my Notion course as well linked down in the description below. The Notion course will help you get started with the fundamentals of Notion on your way to mastering the ability to build out pages, databases, and all that good stuff. So that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you back soon.